$10 will get things started in a hurry with Quopi. Let's talk about it. Hi everyone, it's Gerald Cannon and welcome back to The Journey. As a reminder, I am not a financial planner, nor is this financial advice, and I'm not your financial advisor. To stay up on everything that's happening here at The Journey, be sure and hit that subscription button if you have not already done so, and give this video a thumbs up, and hit that bell to be notified of all future uploads. I will always leave links to the programs that I am participating in under the video in the show more area. If you'd like to proceed forward with any of those programs, make sure you take your time and do your due diligence prior to investing. Be sure and watch the video to the end as I will link other interesting videos. Quopi's workday has finished on the New York Stock Exchange. Let's log on and check out those results. Hey everyone, it is Tuesday, September 5th. Let's jump over and see how Quopi performed today. All right, everyone, Quopi had a positive gain. It was a 1.07. I think that's about the lowest I've seen Quopi achieve a gain of, but uh, hopefully we stay above that. Anyway, it looks like didn't do a whole lot of trading. Looks like four trades, one in the negative, the rest in the positive. Let's go ahead and click full day, everyone, and get the status of everything we'll stroll to the bottom looks like netflix was positive with a 0.59 gain and apple was positive with two trades a 0.62 and a 0.30 and tesla was down a 0.44 we look at our blue credit card in the middle of the screen and we have a gain of 1.07 percent Let's go ahead and go to a little bit broader picture, everyone. And we're going to look at the five days of trading. That encompasses the 29th of August to today. In the 29th of August, Quopi achieved a 3.29%. And on 30 August, Quopi achieved a 1.56%. And on 31 August, Quopi achieved a 1.34%. And on 1 September, Quopi achieved a 1.83% and today again a 1.07 which gives Quopi a 5 day trading average of a 1.81. Let's go ahead and look at a broader picture and we're going to look at 10 trading days everyone. That is Monday through Friday. Quopi does not work on the weekend plus we had a holiday uh, on Monday so Quopi also did not work. So that means for 72 hours we have not in uh, received uh, the typical monies that we normally receive with Quopi. But holidays come and go, everyone. All right, on the 21st of August, Quopi achieved a 1.46% return. The 22nd of August, Quopi achieved a 1.84% return. And on the 23rd of August, Quopi achieved a 1.75% return. The 24th of August was a 3.52% return. And the 28th of August was a 1.71% return, which gives Quopi a total number of 19.37, which gives a 10-day trading average of a 1.93. Let's go ahead and go back over to Quopi, everyone. And let's double check our home screen. Most of our stakes will be receiving monies after this video is uploaded so whenever the market opens back up normally this is monday video it's not as long because i don't have as much i need to go over so this video will not be as long for that reason we have seven notices though uh we'll click on those in just a sec but the profits are starting to trickle in now everyone since the start of the video we have achieved two dollars and 79 cent profit in bitcoin and we have achieved 1.34 cent in US dollar tether on the TRC20 network. And I think we already had some Tron, so it's just continuing to build up. And we had about a quarter or so of XRP, so now it's about a dollar and ten. So now if we click over here on notices, everyone, we'll see profits received. There's XRP of a 0.19 that was received, and we also received some profit for USDT. We got 32 cents right here, everyone. And then the next item we received Bitcoin. Do not know that amount of Bitcoin without punching it into Exodus to find out. We also received 78 cent 
and some change on USDT. And we received some more Bitcoin as the breakdown here, uh, right there. And then we also received some more Bitcoin with a breakdown of a decimal and a bunch of zeros. We received about a quarter off of USDT. And let's mark all these as red, everyone. We will double check and click over on stakes, everyone. We will click the blue button, hit your stakes. Let's take a quick look at the numbers, everyone. Our total return is $6,054.35. Our return on investment has added up to be 60.84%. That's outstanding results, everybody. And the current staked amount is $7,242.81. And our all-time total is, is busting out. We might be there tomorrow, everyone. Our all-time total right now is $9,951.52. So we're just short of 10,000. So it's a nice accomplishment to hit that uh, 10,000 mark. Nothing happens when you do it. It's just personal little thing. We just kind of would like to see that amount ourselves. Over here on the overview, it breaks down our profits. It's easy to see how much profit we have received in USDT. So let's do a quick breakdown and find out how much profit we have received in Bitcoin, everyone. I'm going to copy this number here and I'm going to paste it over here on Bitcoin, everybody, so we can see how much Bitcoin that is profit since we've been in the company, everyone. We have received $3,839.14 profit of just Bitcoin. I copied the number, the decimal 149, and there it is right there, everyone. So 3,000 plus profit in Bitcoin, uh, almost two grand profit in USDT, and we won't break down XRP and Tron, but that's a nice little amount for the time period we've been in it. I'm not sure exactly how long we've been in it. A lot of times I tell you all, I don't try to remember dates and numbers. The videos help me do that. You can go back and see when I started in this program and, and kind of go from there. Let's go ahead and double check our stakes though, everyone. Let's do a little strolling. And this sands in the hourglass, everyone, it looks like these are counting down our time period. So these are all zero stakes. There's one at the very bottom that is a one day of 30. And in one day of 30, everyone, the stakes are 30 days. All stakes are 30 days. That's Monday through Friday. And it does take $10 to join Quopi. It takes a combination of, let me go back here just a sec. If you did decide to join Quopi, you need to have XRP, Ripple, whichever you want to call it. You need to either have that or you can use a Binance coin. This is BNB. And you could also use Tron. Tron is TRX there. You could also use Litecoin, which is LTC. And you could use the Dogecoin and you could use USDT. There are many versions of USDT, everyone. This one is on the TRC20 network. So it needs to be on the Tron network. The Tron that's here pays your gas fees, that TRX. Hopefully that didn't go over anyone's head. And you can also join with Bitcoin. Again, around $10 is what it is, as long as nothing has changed. I don't want to say that and tomorrow they change the minimum requirements, but as of what I know, and I don't go look at this every day, everyone, but when I joined, it was $10, so I would assume it's still that way. But again, if you decide to join, double check and do your due diligence and make sure the rules have not changed. We will go back over to stakes, everyone, and we will review the numbers kind of quickly. On one day of 30, Quopi has achieved a 1.74% return. And on two trading days on this account, Quopi has achieved a 3.01%, everyone. And on three trading days, Quopi has achieved a 4.49%. And on four trading days, Quopi has achieved a 7.62%. And on five trading days, Quopi has achieved a 9.24%. Those are some outstanding numbers, everyone. On six days of trading, Quopi has achieved a 12 0.59% and on seven trading days Quopi has achieved a 14.01 and on 15 trading days Quopi has achieved a 15.03 and on eight trading days Quopi has achieved a 
six, seven. And on nine trading days, Scorpio has achieved a 17.42. And on 10 trading days, everyone, Scorpio has achieved an 18.81%. And on 11 trading days, Scorpio has jumped into the 20s with a 21.63% return on 11 trading days. Again, all stakes are 30 days. When you first join, if you lock something down on a stake, it automatically is set to renew at 30 days. You can go in and uncheck that to not renew at 30 days. All profits are given to you daily. So you can pull your profits. I haven't pulled any profits, but they do tell me it is fast, like lightning fast when you do a withdrawal on Quopi. On 12 trading days, everyone, Quopi has achieved a 23%. And on 14, I mean 13 trading days, Quopi has achieved a 25.18%. And on 14 trading days, Quopi has achieved a 26.71%. 15 trading days, everyone, is half of Quopi's 30-day cycle. And on 15 trading days, Quopi has achieved a 30 0.92%, which I might add is half of 60. Well, it's not necessarily half. 60, 60 is the number I like to receive, and it's half of that. But that's that doesn't mean I'm gonna get it, everybody. But I I, I got faith in Quopi. He's gonna he's gonna be trying hard to get us that 60. All right, everyone, on 17 trading days, Quopi has achieved a 34.25%. And on 18 trading days, Quopi has achieved a 36.09%. We will go ahead and go to the next page where we will pick up with 20. And on the 20 trading days, everyone, Quopi has achieved a 39.76%. And on 21 trading days, Quopi has achieved a 41.29%. And on Let's go ahead and click this one here. That is USDT, everyone. This will give you a breakdown of how Quopi works with the funds. We gave Quopi $432, everyone, of USDT. Quopi returned so far 41.98% profit to us. Again, profits are given daily, everyone, and you can pull those profits. The profits on $432.56, everyone, has been $181.59 which is outstanding. You give Quopi the money and get out the way and let Quopi do his thing, everyone. On 21 trading days, Quopi has achieved a 41.98%. And on 22 trading days, Quopi has achieved a 43.49%. And on 23 trading days, Quopi has achieved a 472 or 21%. And on 24 trading days, Quopi has achieved a 48.96, everyone. That is an outstanding rate. And if we go to 25 days, Quopi has crossed over into the 50% range, which is very nice. And that's a 50.51%. And on 26 trading days, Quopi has achieved a 52 Point zero four, And on 27 trading days, Quopi has achieved a 54.37%. We will go to the next page where we will pick up with a 28 or better. And we have a 29. On 29 trading days, Quopi has achieved a 57.85%. And on, and then we have some that have expired, everyone. And this one here, was 59% and it was a few 59s that was uh, just the other day and then we'll go on where Quopi achieved various percentages in the 60s for the rest of these everyone. I will go through them in more detail tomorrow when we start receiving some of the funds now till tomorrow's video. This clock in the middle shows Quopi will be back at work in a little over 16 hours and it tells you the breakdown of the minutes and the seconds all right everybody again ten dollars to join quopi all stakes are automatic i did say i would talk a little bit more about the stakes so let me come over here to the stakes and show you this right quick if i click on this one here under the open details this box here being checked 
makes it go automatically renewing after 30 days. If I uncheck that, it will not renew, but you will need to save that. I don't need to save it or do anything. I've got mine on automatic, you all. I'm on build mode with Quopi, and at some point, I'm going to be at a point where I can start pulling. Right now, I'm still in build mode. We started with under a grand with this account, and we're again in build mode. And again, with us being in build mode, we're happy to where we have achieved to. You can see we're just a few dollars short of being at 10000 so we have definitely been impressed with what Quopi has achieved for us. Seems like the funds grow pretty quick over here, everyone. All right, everyone, I'm going to get on out you all's hair. I will be back tomorrow to update you on more results with Quopi along with the breakdown of some of our 112 plus stakes. Until then, you all take care to the next Quopi update. Thank you all for taking time out of your schedule to watch this video on Quopi.